All right, now that my system is clean, my desktop is clean again since we had a file up here that's now in our Dropbox account, which is down here. I want to have some music as well. And I have done the same for Dropbox as for Spotify. What I always know, normally do is Control Alt S and Spotify launches. Oh, I must still install Spotify. How do we do that? So Control Alt T. You normally do yay Spotify, right? Or Trizen Spotify. But you see we have here this green line, Arca Linux repo third party. And like I said, Dropbox uh, what had uh, need of an update and Spotify as well. So this is the last version as of this date. Okay, so either you build it yourself, which takes a little bit longer, or you take a pre-build. So this has been built by me today, 10 minutes ago, and you can install that one. So it's just faster way to install everything. It's 227 megabytes, not nothing. And then everything is just working. So Spotify is installed as of almost now, right? And we can find it in our menu. It's there. Now let's include and repeat some of uh, the things we've done. Well, we have here this Firefox icon that's there. Oh, sorry, Vivaldi icon. And I want to have also the Firefox icon there. So right mouse click, we could add it to the desktop, to the panel as a widget, pin to task manager, and that's the one I want. So I have this one that's explained in another video. What I also want is a keyboard shortcut. So we've made tutorials how to make a keyboard shortcut. I'm missing a few. So I'm going to go back to my custom shortcuts. Here is my name. It's, it's, uh, I'm really sure that's from me. And then I'm going to add some more. New global command URL. And I'm going to add Spotify. The trigger is going to be Ctrl Alt S has been always on every desktop we've encountered already. And I'm going to say launch me Spotify. Apply. Ctrl Alt S launch Spotify. So I'm happy again. I just need to sign up. Another thing that I was missing is, um, let me think. Okay, got it again. What I always do is also press Ctrl Alt V and Ctrl Alt F for Vivaldi and Firefox. Okay, I know I have these icons here, but it's in my fingers, you know, the finger memory and I search for the buttons and it's not working here. So I'm going to add it as well. Firefox, shortcut, Ctrl Alt F, launches on any Arch Linux desktop. Firefox, apply. Another one is Vivaldi. Enter. Trigger is Ctrl Alt V. No conflicts here. Because it can be that you have a conflict with the shortcuts that are already present in Plasma. There are lots of shortcuts up here and they might conflict. So you need to consider if you choose to overwrite the keyboard shortcut from Plasma or not. But that's enough for me to repeat for now. So you know again, hey, we can add always keyboard shortcuts. Now, since we have done work on this, um, well, Plasma system, there are three more keyboard shortcuts. And if this thing crashes or you decide to not to continue or you decide to clean install, then you need to do it again. You need to make these again. So what you'll do is immediately export the group, actual state, find file name, go look for it. We've just made a tutorial about Dropbox. It's down here. And we go and look for Dropbox. And then we, oh yeah, we are amazed that it's not there, but that's because we need to, let's see if it works. The reasoning I'm having here. No, it does not do that. So like this, it works. It works. So variety is there already as name. I'm going to override it so that this one is actually so the new three guys, Spotify, Firefox, Vivaldi should be in there. 
let's have a look. I see I need to make another shortcut to go to the file manager. This is way too long for me. Um, so, Dropbox, where are you? There. Dropbox, Variety, Control Find, Spotify, there you are. So Spotify is here. That's a new one. Firefox will be here. And Vivaldi is probably there as well. So there you go. We have the latest keyboard shortcut saved on Dropbox, save and well. So if anything goes wrong, and you always should assume that, so you have backups everywhere, wherever you want, USB or uh, online or uh, external hard drive. All right, that's it for now.